Greetings fellow Demon Slayers, this is Time and Mari here today with another Action Time and In video. We do have Tack on the call. Um, and yeah, we're going to just do our typical Monday reminder, which will be like two seconds, and then we'll show you guys some tower footage. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Uh, you said, what was leaving Tack? Just what? The, the, this? the pickup, the pickup gotcha is going to be leaving. And then, um... And the event and, and right? the event the event that goes with it and that's that's it that's all that's going yeah that's basically that's pretty much everything that's leaving all right so yeah you heard it from tack um this will be leaving tomorrow i hopefully everyone has this done because like i would not want to be the guy farming this like the very last minute especially but, tomorrow <coughs> we're gonna have a lot yeah of i wouldn't i wouldn't even be trying to finish this if you didn't because it just like sucks your ap and yeah. I, I would want to save my pots for what's coming tomorrow. But, um, yeah, yeah just I mean, if you, you know, if you're not done and you're, like, almost done, just try to go for, like, the important drops, like, the tickets. And then, like, just, like, the weapons and the gems. And then, like, the AP pots. And, yeah, you don't need to get everything from this event. I sure as hell won't. <coughs> yeah, and plus, they, they technically gave us, um, three weeks to do this, so... Oh, yeah, I think most people have it done. Yeah, I don't, and, and like this banner, like these weapons aren't that good, so I doubt people are yeah. wasting gems or tickets here. So or the coins, too, yeah, coins them. rather, yeah, they're not tickets, they're little bat signals. So yeah, like this crap is leaving. Who cares? But do be ready because you know Christmas events, and I'm I'm still thinking tech. They're gonna add a way to farm the Christmas presents. I mean, they're going to. I'm yeah, expecting... I think there's going to be, like, a way to craft them, like, last year. And it's going to be, like, a huge AP dump. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's going to be, like, like we're, but we're going to have, like, three weeks to do all this, which is, I'm perfectly fine with it. There's a lot of content to do for three weeks here alone. Do you think that the Ultra Rare mats will be in the in the Christmas present? Like, uh, like, um... uh, what, whatchamacallit, these things, the, the, like, stuff like this. Like the demonite uh, and the nano machines. I say five percent that those would be in it. Five percent. For some reason, I don't know why, and I, I haven't heard anything like no leaks or nothing. I just feel like they're gonna be in the presents. I do. I, I really do. I feel like you're gonna be able to farm them, and they're they're never gonna drop, obviously. But yeah, like, they're gonna have a, yeah, they're gonna they're have gonna a low ass drop very... rate. But like, yeah, I do feel like they're gonna be in there. I don't know why, but if they are, I might have to go crazy grinding AT. I would say there's a five percent chance. Like, I'm just gonna be real. It's just five percent. It's not that. It's not. It's like most likely not gonna happen. But it's like it's a, it's still five percent. I'll give it. Oh yeah, I think it's like a zero percent chance it's gonna happen. Like, if I think logically, but if I think, like, what I'm thinking, where I just, for some reason, really feel like they're going to be in there, like, it's like a gut feeling. And that's, like, I always trust my gut. That's, like, 99% sure they're going to be in there. But they may not, because it's just a gut feeling. Like I said. Yeah. So, it's just a shitty prediction. If it's wrong, don't crucify me, but imagine if you could farm those from the presence, dude. I could see people going ham. See, you or any other whale going ham even i would probably go a little bit of ham. yeah like yeah i think even like the small whales like me would be like yeah nope i'm gonna buy like 300 pots and just go for it <laughs> like like because that's just like so many like potential nano machines and like demonites like imagine all like the supporter and weapon upgrades you could do for anything that's not s5 especially for limited gear too that's actually oh yeah hard. like limited gear like or you could just farm them and hoard them for whatever's yeah, coming for yeah, like oh. for people that want, yeah, like if people that want to get like overall Osaka or fucking Kiwara or Ingrid's like limited gear when that eventually comes, you already have it ready to go. But uh, I, I'll, I'll still say it's five percent chance they'll show up. Yeah, we'll move on from this. Um, usual BS. Make sure your facilities, your dispatch is running. Make sure that you use up all your AP, BP, and make sure you use your special stage here. Because there will be maintenance tonight and you won't be able to play the game. So just make sure everything is recharging so you're not wasting resources while the game is down. I would not be surprised if there's an, an, extended, an extended maintenance today. Oh yeah, we might have a good. long maintenance because of all the crap they're adding. 
Yeah, so it's gonna be a lot of stuff. So you're gonna be out of the game for a lot longer than you sh than you usually would be. Yeah, you see how this got big? For some reason, in the yeah. last video, it was getting small, and it was bugging the hell out of me. Like you see, you can swap between the sizes. Like, yeah, I, I yeah, I, I I just pointing that out. Like that really bugged me the other day. I was like, what the hell? Why was it getting little? But this got big, which is good. So, what this is is this is Asuka footage. Now we're gonna give you the stipulation. Fox here, bless his heart, he put I albine instead of albino, but it's albino fox. Um, he mains Asuka, or at least as a newer player, that's who he liked the most and started with, and now he's trying to use her to get through stuff. His Asuka is not like super whale geared, so don't expect like her to rape the tower. But he basically said, because we do not have Asuka footage, he's going to send us his Asuka footage so people have to suffer his bad Asuka. Now, I wouldn't go so far as to say she's bad or he's bad. Like, he has some decent gear. It's just, you know, not everyone is enchanted, like, plus 10 plus, like, you know, gear with freaking S5s everywhere. So, like, I, yeah, I don't think Fox's Asuka is bad. I quite enjoyed watching his footage because it reminds me, like, it actually keeps me honest because it's like, yeah, this is what the game is actually like for most people, right? So, when we show footage, like, people are seeing, like, these crazy numbers, but... Like, you have to remember, the game is different for, like, a majority of players than what we show on YouTube. Or even, like, yeah. what most people who aren't YouTubers have going on in their account, like, most veterans. Because I remember back yeah, they... in the day, like, dude, when I saw a 40 hit 40k crit, I'd be like, yo, let's go! <laughs> like, she's not bad, she's just, you know, she's, like, still building, you know what I mean? Like, he's still building yeah. the account and the character. And I respect that, and I appreciate the footage, Fox. But, we do hope that... Like, some, some crazy Asuka main crawls out from down from their mountain in Hokkaido. Where they're training with, like, Wolf and Obero, I guess. They're up there in Ultra. <laughs> Just, like, those three people. Um, but yeah. Or at least, or at least someone that, like, is, like, know, like, knows exactly, like, how to push Asuka to, like, towards her limits, basically. In hard contact, basically. Yeah, I'd love to see, like, an Asuka clear. Like, the only Asuka main I know of that could solo tower, we're not exactly on speaking terms with that guy, so... Outside of him, I don't really know any other, like, hardcore Asuka mains. Like, I'm looking for the Asuka that mains Asuka like I main Kirara. Yeah, or, like, yeah. Wolf, how he mains overall. Like, yeah, exactly. Our Ultra, like Ultra means Tokiko. <laughs> yeah. I don't think anyone can take that from him. You know, people are complaining about the long hair, but the first thing I noticed, like, watching him on this map, is you still see a whole lot of ass. Yeah, you do. I think it's mainly because, like, I think it's, like, when you put the outfit on. I think that's the only issue, like, people are having. But you still see Yeah, it's but like dude, it's... it's like, all you see is ass. You literally see yeah. thong. I mean, her hair's yeah. there. It's, it's not particularly in the way. I like, like if if this outfit were on Kirara, man, I would not be complaining. I'd be like, long hair covering the butt, don't care. Crotch tattoo. Crotch tattoo, OP, man. So he has who? Who does? What supporters is he using? Basically, I know he is using you know. But what um, is he using? I don't remember if he shows the build. Um, but if he does, we'll see. I know he's using you know, like you said. Um. I, I don't know, though. Uh, I, I can see he's using the extreme dodge skill for Asuka. Yeah, I like this Asuka setup. Like, like I like Asuka. I just freaking, you know, think her eight scenes are boring as all sin. That's my issue with Asuka. But, like, I, overall, I like Asuka and her story. Ah, uh, like, what other characters are, like, neglected, do you say? Because, like, uh, well, well, Kirara's, like, neglected, but there'll always be Kirara footage on my channel, because I main her. Uh, Asuka's one, like, I I barely see anything about, like, at all. Uh, Sue, that she's another one, I could tell you much right now. Sue's yeah, you're right, main. Sue has, like, no representation, but it's weird, because I know, like, of a lot of Sue mains. Yeah, like, we have a lot of Sue mains in our, in our Discord server. Yeah, but they're all like, kind of quiet and keep to themselves, yeah. yeah. Like, they, they say they main Sue, and then, like, you don't really hear from them. 
Yeah, it's it's like it's like that that the the uh, the Sioux alpa uh, alpa uh, I can't even speak the alpa the alpacas or something like that. Fucking the the group basically like the only wait alpacas only like those weird llama. Th Why is this happening? It's because they like mainly oh. grouped up like the, like that like that's like their own posse I would say. Oh, like there's just like a gaggle of Sioux mains somewhere yeah, where yeah, it's, it's like <laughs> only Sioux mains know this information, and anyone else who's not a Sioux main they don't get this information. That actually makes sense, yeah. Because that's what what it feels like playing Fantasy Star Blue Burst. Like I know all this information that if you never touch Fantasy Star Blue Burst, you just don't know. Like even if you played other games, that's what the Sioux club is like. It's like a secret club that if you just a Sioux main, you know it. And then, like, yeah, uh, if you're not, you're just you just don't. Is that what the Asuka Club is like? Uh, like I, I think like out of all the characters that are being neglected, I would say is Sue, Asuka, Kirara, Ingrid to a certain extent, Noah for sure. She's also another one. But and then overall too. But I think that's it. I, I know I think Tokiko's is going to be in like probably one of those characters going to be neglected alongside with them. Since, I, like, don't, I don't think they'll neglect. Oh god, that skin looks so good. Oh yeah. Oh, he has a plus twelve weapon. Let's go. It's a PvP it's, weapon. It's a it's PvP weapon bad. though. But yeah, hey, let's go. Rebellious on the side. Oh, I see. Okay. Color. All colors. Oh, yeah. I mean, he she yeah, speaker. He's using speaker probably for her her multipliers. Yeah, because like the speaker, range and the crit. Yeah, because yeah, also because one of the few characters that she can actually use both of her passives as a sub slot. And we all know why Uraru was there because of the thirty six percent damage. It's machine. Yeah, it's machine. There's and no... Yuno just makes those basics fat. I could dig yeah, it. And, and the, the extra invisibility too. So. All right, no, this is it. This is it for the footage. He only sent me these two floors. So I don't know, like, um, if, I mean, if he continues his tower run, I'd love to see how far he can get. <coughs> so, like, yeah, Fox, definitely, like, you know, feel free to send footage. Like, I'll death post it. But, um, I like I said, like, I, I know when he sent me the footage, he was using this as more of, like, a call to arms. Like, because he basically said, like, what did he say in chat last week? Something along the lines of... He wants, like, other Asuka mains to come in so he can just copy their builds or, like, try to do what they do so he has an easier time instead of having I mean, to play test. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's, like, the same thing with people that ask, like, uh, for, like for me, for the Asagi or fucking Astral builds. It's, like, it's, like, there are a lot of people that play those characters. It's just that, like, I guess, I don't mind if they want to copy my build. It's just if they have the supporters to basically back it up, basically. Like she's got good damage. Yeah, the damage is like those not basics. Fine. Are, yeah, because here's the thing: she's just basic attacking. Like that's a lot of damage if you like think about that. And you yeah, know, it's... and plus, the, if I remember correctly, these are the floors that reduce damage to twenty percent for machine type characters. So, but yeah, like I, I that's like I think the damage is there. It'll be tough, like, playing, you know, playing through as her, though, if he's gonna, like... I don't think he's looking to solo it, I just think he's looking to finish it, I don't know. But, um... I, I think... I think he's... If I remember the last time he said, he's, like, he's trying... Trying to, like, clear it with just her. But, like, it's, like, it's very hard, because... He, he even admits that, like, she's, just, like, not a really in a good spot right now. Yeah, I, I think she needs a buff, too. I mean, her limited gear is literally, like... On the horizon, after overall, she's literally next, so... Yeah. It just... Oh, it sucks, man. Whenever I think about, like, the last year of characters... We got, like, so many hype characters... Last year, but, like, they're all bad. They did not... They did, they, they did not uh, deliver, basically. Yeah, they didn't deliver on the gameplay. Like, um... They actually posted something on the Facebook... And I don't really care about the post, but, like, what I want to talk about were the comments on it is basically, like, um, people were saying, like, you know, oh, all my money is for Shizuru, like, please make Shizuru good. Like, and someone else said something along the lines, like, please don't mess Shizuru up. And when you, like, have to actually, like, put, when you see stuff like that, it's a little depressing, because it's like, 
most gotcha games when a new character comes out they're usually so broken they need to be nerfed like it's i've never played a gotcha game where it's the case of like most new characters are just bad yeah and it's so it's it like, feels it's... really weird and it sucks seeing people like oh i hope my character doesn't suck when they come out yeah because it's weird because the power creep in this game is mainly the supporters and the gear it's never the character which is very like i i would probably say the power creep of characters that were like strong i were basically emily and Coronai basically like th those those characters were just solid like just like just the whole character and then like after like this year it's like it, a lot of the characters they were so hyped up but they just they fell expectations that people were just really disappointing and it just pissed them off a lot so i think the only character i think that did not hit the, the floor is probably astral <laughs> but like, damn uh, you said hit the floor i Real mean talk though i mean let's be let's be honest here like uh, like people do not want to see shizuru just like how tokiko came out like you have to be a super duper whale like ultra to basically make her viable for like hard content with tower so it, it, it's like it makes sense so like like i've seen people doing like Astro hasn't even gotten like limited gear or anything like that and she's just like like she even received a nerf but she's still doing good in the tower so yeah i watched like... the green astaroth solo um 475 like with no sustain or anything she just killed it yeah like she's like that's how people want to see their characters like you could just take them by themselves and they'll be able to do the like tower by themselves you just need to be like play a lot put the time and effort to get better with them yeah, that is true. But after like, a certain point, though, the problem I have with Tower... Oh, she looks so good, dude. Alright. So I think it's gonna be the same, like, weapons and stuff. I think his supporters are different. Because I, I think he said he was using Mach Punch for this run. I don't remember. <coughs> but, um, what I was getting at... Oh, great. Well, no, the brain fart happened. Now I don't remember what I was getting at. It's all over. What was I getting at? It had something to do... Right, like, something to do setup. with, um... Something to do... I, I'm guessing you were trying to say, like, something to do with characters, like, not being, like, overpowered? Um, oh, this is what it is. I remember now. Okay, so with the original tower... It was, like, hard, right? But it was hard in a way that, like, you could think your way out of it. Like, people, because, you know, there wasn't a time limit. There weren't any restrictions, like, as far as damage output. So people could come up with, like, tank builds or, you know, people started figuring out how good Hisui is because they could do her combo with Emily and get the big fat damage ult. And, you know, like, a lot, of, a lot of tactics happened with the last tower. The problem with the new tower is that you can't really think your way out of it because you need to be enchanted to a certain point to do it. And that's just the truth. Like, I think enchanting is, like, mm, you, I mean, you may not need it for, like, the whole thing, but I think towards the end, I think you need some enchanting on your characters, regardless of what you yeah. built. Or, like, some sort of awakening on your characters. Like, something something that, like, they added that wasn't around, right? So, like, they had an enchanting and, like, awakening. So, if, like, your awakening tree is stacked, then, like, you may be fine without, like, high enchantments. But you need one or the other or both, I think. I really do. Because it's just scaled oh. way too high. Like, 4,000 life bar bosses? Yeah, like, that, that's a lot. Like, yeah, that's, that's a like a lot. lot. Like, that's like 4 million HP. And it would be fine if it was one boss, but it's not. It's three. That's like, you know, that's 12 million health. That you gotta chew through to kill the three timing in. So, I don't know, yeah, like... It just doesn't, it doesn't come off as something you can think your way out of, is what I'm trying to say. It comes off as something is like, you do need to enchant a little bit. <clears throat> and I think, like, people who are loyal to one or two characters and, like, are people who will probably do well in this tower. Like, you know, if you're talking, like, from the perspective of someone who's, like, not a whale, like, free-to-play. And maybe they, like, you know, leveled up their Asuka really high and, like, I don't know, they're more Saki and those are, like, their two girls. And they have them enchanted to like plus 10 with their free to play stuff. Like I could see that person doing fine in tower. But like for, yeah. for like newer players or you know it's just rough. Because it's yeah, kind of like this yeah. tower is kind of built in a way that like people who have been around a while can do it. 
but it's definitely like locking out people who haven't. Yeah, I do agree with you with that. Yeah. A little bit wordy, but that's that's just how I feel. Like I feel like the old tower, like it wasn't new player friendly, but it was like it was young player friendly. Like you know, younger players could do it. But this new tower, it's like vets are out, get out. <laughs> like this four thousand life bars, man. Like you either need to have gotten really really lucky, be a whale, or be a vet. Because if you're yeah. a vet, like even if you're free to play, you probably have most of the shit anyway. Because you've been here since day one. Yeah, because, and not to mention, like, some of the event supporters you can't even get your hands anymore, so it's like... Yeah, exactly, and that's another thing being a vet helps with. It's like you've been around for limited stuff, so if you don't have it, it's because you either couldn't afford it or you didn't want it. But yeah, that's the video. That's Fox's footage. Um, It is nice to see some Asuka. I also like having it paused here because the, having her eyes closed like that just looks cute. I don't know. I like it, and we're going with it. Plus, she looks like a hamster. I do agree with Ark on that one. He reminds me of, like, a hamster girl. Do you agree, Tack? Where the hell hamster came from? She has, like, she's like a hamster. Like, like she has this, this, this mousy brown hair. And, like, it, she looks womanly, but, like, in a hamster kind of way. Mm. I, I don't know. I, I see it. When he says it, I see it. But I don't really know why. It's the same thing with Hitomi from DOA. Like, whenever I looked at Hitomi, I didn't know what it was that was off about her. But I always thought she was cute. But, like, not in that way. Like, not sexually cute. Just cute. And that's what it's like when I look at Asuka. I think she's adorable. But, like, a pet. Like a hamster. She looks like a hamster. As Asuka and Hitomi look like hamsters. And I'm, I'm sticking with it. That's my canon for them. They're hamster people. I bet if you, like, cut Asuka's head open, it's actually like a little cockpit with a little bitty hamster waifu in there. And it's driving the whole body. With that being said, yeah. any Asuka mains, uh, please send us footage. I just see a woman. That's all I see. I don't really see a hamster. Yeah, it is a woman, but it's like she looks like a hamster. <laughs> we're going to we're gonna keep going in circles, but... We can agree to disagree, but like I, I, she reminds me of a hamster. How about Chadwick? Screw that freaking penguin! <laughs> all right, like I, th okay, th we're getting way off subject here, but we're gonna stop here. Um, God, God, my brain is in mush. Okay, thank you, Fox, for the footage. Thank you, Tack, for coming on. Screw Chadwick. <laughs> and freaking. Yeah, any Asuka mains who wanna, you know, take up the mantle and show off your footage, like if you share if you share it with me, I will put the video up. Like, I don't even care if your Asuka's particularly OP or not, but like if there's anyone, you know, who's getting through tower tower with her through some means and you know, they're not using like Noah and Morisaki, because I think that build works on anyone. Like if they're using something that's not those two, I'd love to see it. Cause yeah, I'd love to see what Asuka can do. And I don't know of many good, great Asuka mains. Like I said, I only know of the one. So, outside of that guy, like, I don't really know who I would ask. And that's unfortunate. Because she looks like a hamster, and everyone loves hamsters. So with that, that'll be the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, we'll catch you tomorrow with another video about this super hype Christmas maintenance that's about to hit. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.